Hello everybody and welcome back and in the previous videos I showed you how you can actually install VirtualBox, Kali Linux and your VirtualBox box guest editions in order to have our Kali Linux machine in full screen mode. So right now we can actually start to introduce ourselves uh, with the Python environment in Kali Linux. So this is the similar desktop to before to in the previous video and right now just open up your terminal uh, basically you can enlarge it if you want to, it doesn't even matter. I will zoom in just in, in case so you can actually see it a little bit better, which I will do with the view and then zoom in right here. It just uh, makes you uh, actually see this better and in larger letters. What I will do right now is I will actually make my uh, terminal background not transparent, so you can basically see the code better once we actually start coding. So I will do that with the edit part, then preferences. Then let me just find it. Okay, so it is under color section right here, transparent background, you can change it right here. I will just leave it to be completely black. Now you can leave it anything you want. You can make it fully transparent. You can make it different colors and so on and so on. But this is not really the part of our course. So all we have to do right now is actually open up the Python in order to show you the Python interpreter and how you can actually use Python in order to create programs in Kali Linux environment. So first of all, before we do any of that, let's ask ourselves why are we even doing this? Why are we coding our own tools? Why are we using Python and not some other programming languages? Well, basically the idea behind actually teaching people how they can write their own tools is to differentiate you from basically anyone that's using the tools. Now, it is in the hacker world referring to as a script kitty, is someone that always uses different people's tools and doesn't really know how they work in the background. Now, programming knowledge and coding those tools actually gives you an in-depth view and actually a better understanding of how those tools work and how does the process of attacking really work. And also, one more thing, those tools that you use from other people, that you either download from GitHub or that you actually get from the Kali Linux itself, since Kali Linux comes pre-installed with a bunch of different hacking tools, which will not be the part of this course, uh, some of those tools will break some time. So what you want to do in case some of those tools break and you need them, you can learn to code them yourself and use them whenever you actually want. And for example, some of the tools are not really uh, specified for a certain type of attack. So you can actually, with your programming knowledge and hacking knowledge, combine those two and actually create a tool that will be specifically for a certain attack, which you can't really do if you can't really code or you don't need know uh, how to code any hacking tools. You only know how to use tools from different people. Now, as I said before, this will also give you a better understanding of what is happening behind the scenes, since you will be the one that is actually coding the attack itself. Now, the reason why we are using Python is basically from two reasons. First of all, the Python is the, you can say, the hacker's uh, programming language, since it is a scripting language and it allows us to create uh, co uh, programs really fast. For example, C is a low-level language, and anything we actually code in Python in this course will take a lot longer or significantly longer to code in C. Uh, Python is easier and also uh, basically I chose this language because uh, I will not be teaching you the programming itself. Uh, if you can, if you are in the position to, please you can just take any uh, Python programming course, beginner course, it doesn't even matter, you can just look at some of the videos at YouTube. So you can see the syntax for the Python, you will understand all of this a little bit better and easier. But don't worry if you don't want to or don't have time to do that, I will explain everything as well, just not in that detail, since we will be mostly, mostly focusing on the hacking part of the code itself. So, uh, in order for us to actually open Python in uh, Kali Linux, you just open up your terminal as we did right here, and all you have to do is just type Python. Now what this will do is it will open up the Python interpreter right here where we can actually execute these uh, commands or basically execute the program itself. Now Python interpreter is not really something that we will use uh, in order to make our programs, but you can also always use it in order to test 
A certain part of the program since it gives you the error right away. For example, there is a import function called import OS, which imports a library. And as you can see, if something like this happens right here, which you get three error and then three error once again, it means it executed properly. But if I try to import something that doesn't resist, uh, exist, which is OSS, it will give me a name saying no module named OSS. So this is Python interpreter. We can use it just to simply check our syntax if it is correct or not before actually putting it in the program itself. But another thing you might actually notice is that this is the Python 2.7.15 plus. So uh, basically this is the Python 2. Uh, the Python 3 you can open, let me just show you how, with the Python and then 3. As we can see Python 2 we open with just simply typing Python and Python 3 interpreter we can all open with typing Python 3 which will lead to the same command prompt with these three arrows to the right but this will be the Python version 3.6.8. So that's, that is something you want to differentiate. That is how you can open Python. That is how you can use Python interpreter. Now let's see how we can actually write a simple Hello World program and save it and actually execute it from our terminal. We do not want to use the Python interpreter. We actually want to create a program ourselves. So here, if you just type here ls, which stands for listing directories in the current directory in which we are, uh, basically in order to check in which directory you are, you just type here pwd. It will print working directory as it says right here. P stands, for, P stands for print, W for working, and D for the directory. We are currently in the root directory, which is good. We want to be there. As you remember from the previous videos, you can actually navigate through the directories with the CD command. So for example, if you wanted to go to the documents, you could just type CD documents, press enter. And now if you just type PWD once again, we are in the slash root slash documents directory. But we want to go one directory back which we can do with cd and then two dots, it leads you one directory back, which will lead us right back to our root directory. Right now, what we want to do is actually create the directory where we will actually save our Python programs that we will code. So let us make a directory. Now, in order to make a directory in a simple Kali Linux environment, you just type in your terminal mkdir and then the name of the directory you want to create, which can be anything. In my case, it will be Python programs, uh, because we are going to make Python programs and save them in that directory. You just press here enter, and if you just type here ls once again, we can see right now we have the Python programs directory as well as other directories that were there before. In order to go to our Python programs directory, we just type here cd Python programs, and we are now in our Python programs directory. And if you just type your ls here, you will see there is nothing in this directory since it is a new one and we didn't have any file created at the moment. What we want to do is we actually want to create our first program, which would be a simple hello world program from Python. And then in the next videos and in the next section, we will continue or basically we will start with our first hacking uh, programs, which will be the port scanners or basically scanning the target. So in order to actually create the program, you just type here nano and then just specify the name of the program you want to create. In my case, I just want to call it test and it needs to have the extension .py since py stands for Python programs and it must really have that extension in order for Cal Linux to be able to run it from the terminal. So nano that and something you need to know uh, while actually creating any program in Linux is that you need to specify the path to the Python libraries, which is the, uh, which you can do with hash and then exclamation mark and then uh, slash user slash pin and then slash Python. This is something that you will specify at the beginning of every program that you actually code in Kali Linux. So make sure to remember this. I'll also, don't worry, I will also tell you this like every time that we actually code something that you need to specify this path right here. And in order for us to actually print hello world, we can actually just do print, open brackets, close brackets, and between the double quotes, which is specified in the brackets, we can just type hello world. This is the entire program. Print function basically prints anything or basically prints what is inside the brackets to our terminal. And we specify that it should print hello world. 
you specify a string to be printed out by uh, putting it between the double quotes or single quotes. So let me just show you both single quotes and double quotes will work. You know it is a string when, when it actually turns green right here, so it changes color. Now this is not a must, if you for example change color from your terminal, it might be some different color, but it doesn't matter. You will notice when it is a string and when it is not. I will just use double quotes in this case. And in order to save this file or to save this program, you just type here control O, then enter, as it says file name to write, you want to type here enter, so it writes under that name and control X to exit. In order for you to, for example, clear the screen, you can just type here clear, which will just screen the, clear the terminal from previous commands. Now let's see if we type here ls once again, we now have our test.py. Now, for those of you who are really new to this, I, let me just explain what nano did. So nano, as we used it once we actually wrote our program, is basically opening our program and actually it opens something similar to the, for example, notepad in the Windows, where you can actually write anything, whether it is text or part of code, and then save it to a file. As we did right here, we saved this part of code to the file test.py. So let's close this. And right now, if we just try to run this, which we can do with either typing Python and then test.py, if we want to run it with Python 2, or typing Python 3, test.py. Now, before we can actually run this, we need to make this an executable, since if I just press here enter, whoops, it actually doesn't need to be made an executable, since I specified the Python 3, but if I want to run it as an every other program with dot slash and then the name of the file, which is test.py, it will say permission denied, since that program isn't really an executable. So in order for us to actually make it an executable, we can just do chmod, which stands for change mod, and then plus x. This plus x stands for actually making a file an executable, which you will need to do for every file you actually code. And then you specify the name of the file itself, which in our case it is test.py. So this command right here will make our file executable. And if I just type here enter, and press ls once again, you can see right now we have the executable test.py and this command mine, and this command dot slash and then test.py should now work. As we can see right here, we are able to run the program, which just prints up hello world. So I just wanted to show you this, how you can actually create a simple program, which just prints hello world. Some of the commands this we will use, which is such, such as chmod plus x, such as nano, which we will use to open the file in, for example, something similar to a notepad, ls to list files, then dot slash, and then the name of the file to run the file itself. And I also showed you the Python 2 and Python 3 interpreters. So that would be about it for this video. This is just a uh, simple video where I explained why do we need to use Python and what we will be doing. So in the next section, uh, we will actually start coding our scanning tools that we will use for scanning the target. So hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I see you in the next lecture. Bye.